Tomorrow Education, Week 4. Our value of a month is friendship. And hey, look, we are dealing about the real friend. We have attached the textbook pages for semester 3, page 13 and 14. Please note that you do not have the semester 3 textbook. So, you can use the pages down below as a reference. Our key vocabulary for today is two very big words. So, will you repeat after me? Let's go! Number one. Compliment. That's a big word. Let us break it down. Repeat after me. Com -li -ment. Now let's say it together. Compliment. Amazing work, grade ones. Word number two. Background. This word is not as difficult as the one above, but it is a big word as well. So let us break it down. Repeat after me. Back. Ground. Now let's say it together. Background. Wow, you are amazing. Our lesson for today is that we are going to see what is friendship. And we are learning that friends can be different. Please remember, you need to complete the assessment and don't forget to write your name and select your grade and your section. There is two little games for you to play here if you would like to. There are optional worksheets which you can do if you would love to. Here is the school resources which I have mentioned. It is a story called Two Friends, Different Interests. Here is two YouTube video links, which is optional, and you can watch it just to learn more about friendship. Now let us begin. We just said the new key vocabulary. So, what does the two big words that we learned mean? First, Word number one, compliment. Can you say that word? Compliment. Compliment is when you say something nice to someone else. For example, Tom is telling Andy, nice shirt. When you tell someone something nice, they will smile and be happy. Remember, we always want to make people smile. Therefore, we should try and compliment each other. Can you compliment your mom right now? Let's give it a try. Let us say, Mom, you are so pretty. Amazing! Did you see your mom had a big smile on her face? Our next word, background. Background are things that have happened to a person in the past. So, it is where a person comes from, their family's past, and what languages they speak. So, I speak the language English. What language do you speak? This means that we have different backgrounds because you speak a different language from me. We are all different. We know that there are many people in the world and everyone is different. Do you think you have someone that is just like you? No, there is always something different, even with twins. Not everyone is the exact same, but we can still be good friends even though we are different. But how can we still be friends if we are different? What color are your eyes? My eyes are dark brown. Yusuf's eyes are green. 
Ahmed's eyes are brown and Muhammad's eyes are blue. But Yusuf, Ahmed and Muhammad are friends. Can they be friends if they have different eye color? Yes, of course they can. Now let's think about it. What color are your friend's eyes? My friend's eyes are blue. Can you tell your mom what color are your friend's eyes? Can we be friends with someone that has different hair from us? That's a different color. What color is your hair? My hair is black. Here are four friends. Let us look at the pictures. Fatima's hair is light brown. Muhammad has no hair. Hala's hair is black. And Mahra's hair is orange. Can they be friends if they have different color hair? Of course they can. It does not matter what color hair they have as long as they be good to each other. Can you think about your friend? What color is their hair? What is your skin like? Is everyone around you the same? Do they all have the same color skin? No, everyone is different. Let us look at the three friends over here. Fatima has white skin. Muhammad has brown skin. And Hala has white skin but has a brown patch on her face. Does that make her any different? Of course not. We can all still be friends even though our skin color is different. What color is your skin? Oh yes. Now, what is your favorite thing to do? I like to color. What do you like to do? Let us look at the three friends over here. We have Saif, we have Fatima, and we have Mariam. Saif loves playing with dinosaurs. Fatima loves to paint fairies. And Mariam likes to plant flowers. Does that mean that Fatima, Mariam, and Saif cannot be friends? not. Even though they have different likes, they can still be friends and still do their things that they like to do. What do you like to do? Let's think about it and ask your mom and your dad what is their favorite thing to do. All three of you will have different things that you enjoy doing, but yet you still love each other. Here is a quick summary and basic information about this lesson. Your friends does not have to like everything that you like. Your friend does not have to come from the same country you come from. Some of your friends are from India. Some of your friends can be from Pakistan. Some can be from different Arab countries. But you can still be best friends. Because even though we are all different, we are all friends at the end of the day. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and learn that from now, you don't only have to be friends with someone that is exactly like you. Let us all learn to love each other no matter what we like or where do we come from. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And please don't forget 
you need to complete the assessment and write your name and select your section. I will see you next week, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.